Hi, my name is Maeve and I'm a junior here at WashU studying mechanical engineering. I'm with Kylie who is a first year. So what are you studying Kylie? I'm planning to study biomedical engineering. How was the experience when your parents left? Was it an emotional experience? They were very comfortable leaving me here because they like know it's such a great environment and like they felt like I was at a good place to stay for a while. It was more emotional like saying goodbye to my sisters. Definitely got pretty emotional. <laughs> Was it an emotional goodbye or was it more, all right, you are ready? Adulthood, college, let's go. Um, I'm the last child, so there was no crying this time. <laughs> oh no. Have you enjoyed your time at WashU so far? I know you've only been here a couple days. Have you gotten to try anything on campus or off that you've really enjoyed? I definitely, I really like Forest Park, just walking around there. I've been to the art museum before too, which is definitely really nice. Um, all the orientation activities are really great and just finding out like all the different activities and clubs you can do on campus is also really nice. I am with Joey. Nice to meet you, Joey. I like the shades. Uh, what what brought out the pit vipers today? Uh, just really sunny. It's fair. It's very humid as well. Very humid. I'm impressed with the long sleeves. Thank you. So what made you both come to Wash U? Originally, like straight out of high school, I was applying to engineering programs and didn't have a lot of success and uh, my counselors and my family kind of directed me towards a dual degree option. And then I came out here on a campus tour and fell in love. Today's the first day of school, so what are your emotions going into that? Definitely a mix of excited and nervous. Excited for all the like new opportunities, but also nervous about meeting people and finding community. What were some items that you were absolute necessities for you to bring that maybe people wouldn't think about? One of the things that I like was very adamant about not forgetting was my like little desktop fan. Good choices, good choices. St. Louis is, today it's pretty humid. It's 80, 85% humidity, so it's good that you have that fan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Talking about fans. All right. <laughs> What's something you're really looking forward to this year? I'm excited for the activities fair this Friday. I just want to see, like, I know um, Washi offers, like, a lot of clubs. I heard one girl talking about, like, a cheese club, and she was really excited about that. So maybe, like, club soccer, run club. Um, there's, like, an EMS program that I might join. Honestly, just, like, whatever I have time for, I'm just going to try to do. I am super stoked for the racing team. That seems cool. I'm also looking at the racing team, but I'm also looking at possibly joining um, water polo, swim club, or triathlon because I did swim at my previous university and I want to try and keep doing something athletic. You said you didn't use any highways when you drove. Can you elaborate? I just drove all off roads because I wanted to like explore the Midwest. So since you road tripped here um, and you were kind of exploring the Midwest area, were there any uh, interesting places that you found or any places that you wanna, would want to highlight? The most interesting to me, which people might find funny, but it was Ohio. Because um, driving off the highways in Ohio, it's just cornfields all around you, like for hours, just cornfields. And that's kind of cool to somebody who lives in New England, like close to New York, in between New York and Boston, where you can't go more than 10 minutes without seeing like a city. So I, I enjoyed that. Oh, that's awesome. Um, I'm trying to follow up with cornfields.